Hi folks, in the Sea of Japan, this is two small islands. The Japanese call it Takashima, the South Koreans call them Dato. And those islands were stolen from Japan by the South Koreans, I think in 1950, and then they're currently still being occupied by the South Koreans. So you know as the old legal saying goes, possession is nine-tenths of the law. So for all intents and purposes, as of today, the South Koreans own the islands illegally because they belong to Japan, but they occupy it. So the Japanese, in their textbooks for the schools, they note in there that Takshima, as the South Koreans call it, Dato, belongs to Japan. And this infuriates the South Koreans. What do you mean putting that in your textbook? Those are our islands. What do you care what they put in their textbook? You possess them, so what do you care what The serious part about this is, in middle school in South Korea, the students were prompted by the teachers or either their parents to send postcards to a middle school in Japan. And these postcards denote the following. That's right. What these postcards denote is telling the Japanese students from other South Korean students that Takashima doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us, the South Koreans. And it's not called Takashima. It's Dato! You understand? Now listen. Nice. They want to engage students across the sea of Japan. But not in this venue. Not with this, these type of postcards. The South Korean teachers and their parents who initiated this ought to be ashamed of themselves with this dishonorable activity that they encourage their students to participate in. And I have this question. How many such postcards were sent to South Korean students from Japanese students? How many? Well, let's take this a little further. How many Japanese went to South Korea to burn a holy shrine. Zero? But guess what? A South Korean went to the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo, Japan to try to burn one of the wooden doors at the shrine. Another one went there to cause a small little explosion in a restaurant, the toilet. And another one went there recently to hold up a banner and to cause a little fire also. Gee, that's three that I could recall, but I can't recall any. Japanese going to South Korea to engage in the same type of mis mischief. So why do these Koreans, not all that, these lunatic Koreans, why are they engaging in this mischief? You want to know why? It's an inferiority complex. They feel inferior to the Japanese people, so they have to lash out in this type of manner. If you're going to feel inferior to the Japanese people, why don't you do this? Just forget about the Japanese people and promote yourself. You can promote yourself without trying to drag someone else down, without trying to get repugnant and insulting students in another country. What are you, stupid? You know, to the teachers and or the parents who prompted the South Korean students to do this. But we say in Japan, that's right, we. <laughs> we say in Japan is Anata wa Hontani Baka. Yeah, that's it, kids. Anata wa Anthony Baca. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Nihon Koku, Japan, and to the students in South Korea who were prompted by your parents. <sighs> Sorry for you. See you. <laughs>